Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoy the content. I'll see you later. All right. Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another Agito Live video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. This is gonna be sort of a showcase video for Honkai Star Rail. Uh, where I will be showcasing one of my alt accounts, specifically my Aegis Server alt, where I have sort of turned it into, over the last few, few months, into a quantum and imaginary only, where I basically only level, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this, um, and uh, ignore these two. <laughs> I only level uh, quantum and imaginary characters, and I only use quantum and imaginary characters, uh, including, uh, obviously, Fushuan, Sparkle, Silverwolf, uh, QQ, Locha, the new Aventurine, Welts, Dr. Ratio, uh, Lynx, Yukong, and Zhu Yi. Now, this means I do not have access. Originally, this account was a level 60 only account. That's why there's a lot of characters sitting at level 60 because I was just messing around with that stuff. But at some point, I kind of transitioned into, into this. Uh, I don't know why it was kind of fun. I, like the, I think Silverwolf sort of started the idea that oh, you could have Mono Quantum everywhere, and I was like, well, there, there's not. It's not realistically going to be a possibility. So let's see if I can throw that, throw a wrench into that, and see what else we get. And then I was like, oh, Imaginary is interesting. It's another sort of limited and special type of uh, thing. Uh, so I was like, well, let's see what we can. I like a lot of the characters that I imagine. In fact, Yukong is my favorite character in the game. Um, sadly, she is only E3, I think, on this account. And uh, Zuyi is a four star, I think, is only like E0 on this account. So, not getting the full potential out of them. But they are all level 80, as you can see. All the current, the only quantum character and imaginary character I don't have on this account is Zila and uh, Dill. I don't have Dill because so I have him at E2 on my main account. And I was like, I don't really want to play Dill more because I'm already playing him in the best version. So why would I want to play a kind of shittier version of E0, which is kind of an unreasonable statement, but I might get him in the future. And I just forgot to pull for Sela the second time she came around. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just did not pull for her, but I don't have her. However, we do have QQ here and she is E5, so, or E6. So she is actually easily our strongest character on the account right now. She is a stupidly strong DPS, especially in uh, our quant for our quantum team. So what this video is, though, is a showcase of 10. So this is actually the first time that this account has ever been able to get to uh, get to 10 and possibly even defeat it. I don't know yet. I, don't, I think at least I think it is. I don't think I can't see my other my old progress, unfortunately. But I don't I've not done very well. Um, on Pure Fiction. Pure Fiction is not this account's friend right now. I do not have enough Iridition AoE damage on uh, my character. At least nothing I've figured out yet. Anyways, back to the showcase. I'm going to try these two accounts. Uh, we're going to start in stage 10. I just, I literally a few minutes ago just got through these other stages. I have been playing on manual. I have to play on manual. Otherwise, uh, certain teams will just not work. Like, the AI for Welt is kind of terrible in that it will always, almost always use this skill, even if it's only, only one skill point and you need it for other things. So, so we'll be tackling... Uh, first half of World of uh, MOC 10 with this team, the Quantum team, and then we take in the second half with the Imaginary team since Sam is Imaginary Week. And Quantum can add its element. That's the nice thing about Quantum is it can add its element to whatever we're going into fight with a four-man team. And what's also nice is basically whenever this is not the case, like if I need to apply Imaginary but Quantum's on the other side, I can actually just swap Silver Wolf and Welts and uh, all that. So let me go quickly through their stats. I'm gonna go through their stats, their light cones, and all that. Oh yeah, she's the one, I forgot about that. Not an entirely free to play account. I have I have spent some money on this. Currently, she is on attack boots uh, because of Sparkle. Uh, the Quantum team is the most built team. The Imaginary team still needs a lot of work, a lot of work, like a lot of work, as you can see from traces here. Um, I do not have Adventure and Signature like Cone. I probably am not going to be able to pull for it. I lost the 50-50 to. 
did I lose a bit of do? One of these guys, I think. I think it was him ago. I'm not sure. I lost a bit of you No. Yeah, I did lose a bit of I lost a bit of to someone. Might have been well. No, it wasn't well. That would have been useful. Well, as you can see, Wild Traces well needs a lot of work. Uh, Dr. Ratio is actually probably my second most built character because he was my other DPS and I wanted him to be. I maxed, I maxed him the fuck out. He was free to play. He was, he was free. So I was like, fuck it. Let's go all in. And he's actually, he trucks. He trucks. I don't have a best relic set for him because I'm still going through Pentaconia right now uh, as we are. So, cool. Uh, let's go. Let's get into this. Let's see what happens. I, just, I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to find out. The nice thing about this team also is every skill is used. Every technique is used. Alright, um, those guys are a problem. Actually, so I found out in another one I was doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we kill them fast. Obviously Sparkle works so well with QQ, especially if you get bad luck or something along those lines in her RNG. Which can't happen. I feel like it doesn't happen as often for like for me as it does for some other people. Generally, you can only take like a most will take like four rolls, which I don't think is that bad, especially now that we have Sparkle, right? This is double speed. The current uh, buff is also pretty good for, uh, for what we want to do. Now I could use her ultimate here to get. Uh, like skill points back, right? But I want to make sure that I'm getting the full, the full amount back first, because my sparkle technically generates five skill points because I have her on the Bronia light cone, right? So the first time she generates five. See, so it's super important that I actually make sure I have enough space for that, so I get the max amount of efficiency out of that, and then watch her truck. I see through you. I'm awaken. I don't think she crits. I don't know. More enemies. Time for a bug. I'll go easy this time. This combat. This is double speed. You almost hit me? All things in human. I actually should have it because I currently have a better break of my world on uh Look at the draw. Please and victory! Together. Cool. We'll only get four skill points this time, obviously, because we do not. I do not have the Bronya ult only uh, procs the every three ult, so perfectly fine with that. And then an easy, an easy QQ, easy QQ basic attacks. So, and she, honestly, showcasing the quads team is not really that difficult. It's like it's really straightforward as a team. Um, they do what they're supposed to do as quickly as possible. Silver Wolf also, obviously, gets to get Silver Wolf also. So one of the biggest benefits of this team actually is that because you have so many extra skill points, Silver Wolf has this capability of actually, while she's not like Pella where she can put you know AOE defense down and everything, because you have so many extra skill points, you can end up using her skill on multiple targets to get the quantum weakness everywhere, and you're guaranteed it because well, you have an entire quantum team. You have to get a little bit lucky, and I did not get lucky here, as you can see. Um, uh, we ran out of skill points there. Can't have it, and that's it. This is the, this is the second or third casting of the ult. That was the third casting of the ult, but you got the extra stuff. And then we have the double hit, I think. 
No, you're not gonna hit. That was, uh, sometimes I get confused seeing Sparkle's little fox animation. It looks like a double hit uh, thing for her as well. Now we just break him. Ooh, you Sparkle lost her turn. That's not good. Over here. I actually probably should have used her ultimate first. That was a mistake on my part. I clicked too fast. Proc this as much as possible. Perfect. So the, the reason you use the ultimate afterwards is so that you get the ultimate gets the full benefit of the 40% damage from all your from all the rolls basically. Yeah, this is not gonna be a great turn for her. Let's look at we use a little too many skills. We'll get a double attack though. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Dead doesn't matter. So three cycles. That's I think that's pretty damn good for having played that. Honestly, Never not the greatest. So, lucky. That's lucky. All right, good, good on you, Aventurine. Let's go. Let's showcase this team. All right, we're, we're gonna use ratios field. Unfortunately, his and Welts do not stack. We're gonna use ratios for the speed reduction. Let me open up the fight with you call. Now I'm really bad about using Yukong uh, when she does not E6 because I, I have her E6 on my main account so when I use her I'm like just like willy nilly with ult so I have to be a little bit more careful uh, here. I feel like this one is in my fingers in the individual hits. Um, I am going to use this skill over here to get the uh, slow view up up. And then I'm going to use this. I'm asking the ratio benefits from example. Your uh, Stand down. Still going. You know nothing of survive. Ultimate destroy. There is no other choice. Plenty of debuffs on all the targets. Um, we have her bonus. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use it right now. See, that would be the best time, like for her E6, right? If I was using E6, then I could pop it right now, and she would absolutely just pop me. She would pop off with ratio, but now I have to wait. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. This one broken. Um, we do need to repop our shield, so we'll do that. Time for we'll well do this. Zero points. Watch your head. So when, yes, yes, Adventuring's follow up attack will will trigger the extra hit from uh, Dr. Ratio's ultimate. So very, very intuitive. Uh, not intuitive. Now her hit the thing. She'll do a decent amount of damage. And then we're going to use the skill to hope to kill. Yes, and then the follow-up attack will hit the other. Awesome. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what we want. Follow-up attack. This team's actually... Like, if the enemy is imaginary weak, this team trucks pretty hard. Stand down. Um, if I had Yukong at uh, uh, E6, this team is so, so much better. Because her because her combo with ratio actually brings him to 100. With the, when I current build for him, brings him up to 100% crit rate. So, um, our shields are good right now. I don't want this guy staying around very long, if possible. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Wilt's ability. Go ahead and use hers. Uh, uh, we also did proc. That sucks. He only had an 80% chance of proc. That's unfortunate. Cool. Uh, go ahead and use her ability right now. Oh, she didn't get enough energy. Unfortunately. Alright, so let's do this on him. We want him to go down right now. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Well, ability. Zero points. To get the enemy hit. He his own hit, which does not does not trigger his own ultimate. So that's fine. And then basic. Zero points. Cool. And now that he's exposed. And now there's only one target. Um, we're going to focus on breaking him. Instead. Stay the course. 
So while this won't give us the buff, it will give us getting closer to that break. Which is super important. We take the damage because we have a shield there, so it's it's fine. Not too not too good. Yeah, eventually, eventually shields are, are super strong and they constantly regenerate, so there's literally no uh, no worries. Oh, perfect. Oh, I was kind of hoping. Uh, that, was good. that was a good. That was a good sequence of events, though. Time for some hardship. Now we can get some real, real good damage. Of Unfortunately, I don't think I have Weld's uh, ability three, so he's not giving me extra 10% damage. Again, this team, this team is the one that needs improvement now over my quantum team. I've been working on my quantum team uh, for quite a while, so. We need to get an energy recharge over here. Really focus her on support instead of damage. So I've kind of been building her because so she'll do kind of some damage, but I honestly am starting to think maybe I should just use build her on support, get the energy recharge set on her and everything. Um. So yeah, I mean... For me, I'm not trying to zero cycle these things, right? I'm trying to clear. If I clear, I don't care, which means I have 10, roughly 11 cycles to actually get the clear in. And the the, the, the quicker that is done, the cooler, the better. But as long as it gets done, I don't care. Basically, five on each side, right? Five cycles is what you want. So that is a pretty damn good clear. I will take it. All right, now we're gonna go into 11. Let's see what kind of team copy. Okay, so here's a here's a good scenario that I'm talking about, right? So this side, all imaginary, don't have to worry about it, right? I can put my imaginary team over there, no problem. This side, one enemy has quantum, the rest of them don't, but I have an entire quantum team, which means I can just drop it on there, so it should be fine. Um, no change-ups, except I might change something on Yukon real quick, because I really am now thinking about maybe I should change her more toward, instead of doing her damage, uh, focusing on getting her energy up and her buff. Good with that. And that would should give her a little bit more energy regeneration, yeah. On top of on top of this for when she is uh, attacked or attacking. So I think that's actually gonna be better. I don't know why I didn't have that before, but I guess like sitting here like contemplating how best to improve the team, I'm like, actually these are these are some of the best ways to improve the team, and that's actually why you do these, right? Why you do some of these showcases, because you might think about this stuff in the meaning of it. Um there's an argument made for using Locha, but since it's the 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 these dudes, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Aventurian still. Healers kind of got pushed to the wayside by both of the preservation characters, unfortunately. And I just got Locha's light cone, and then I was like, oh, that's right. Aventurian's really good, so it's gonna be kind of rough. It's all good. In um in like Swarm Disaster and Golden Gears, where I, where I generally will need two sustains, they had come in much uh, much more. It is in fact. I see through you. This combat needs up. This is double speed. Um, I don't really want to use her ultimate right now, so I'm just going to like, burn the energy. That's fine. Perfect. Oh, she didn't die. That's amazing. Hopefully she'll die to this. All things in creations. Before she gets a turn and, like, smacks us. There she goes. More enemies. Well, I know I have access to Sparkle's ultimate. We're gonna get five. This is our first cast. We're gonna get five skill points back. So that was worth. We <laughs> got all the extra procs. Hell yeah. We had to use all of our skill points, but that's okay. You get trucked. She hits so hard. 
get trucked. Get so trucked. So one of the greatest things about um, this also is that broke. No, no issues with uh, doing that. I'm actually going into. I think I'm going to use a sparkles basic attack here, so I don't really need to speed her up. So they don't need her basic attack. We won't get as much damage out of this, and that's fine. But. There's some skill points, and then she'll get her ultimate this next turn when she uses it. I am using a speedy sparkle and a slow. That freeze was really, really unfortunate. Start charging your ability. Thank you. Not that I have quantum weakness on him yet, so that's kind of pointless. Not think about it, but whatever. It's fine. I did not play this very well. Actually, I played this really badly, actually. Luck of the draw. No, I'm just looking at Let's play for a while. Alright, here's one. I played that kind of badly. I actually think I didn't have to go. You know what? We're going to reset that because I'm realizing that I did not actually have to kill the swords. I didn't have to go for them directly. I was a little worried, but then I was like, then I realized that doing that is actually not helping. I don't need to actually go for the swords. I can actually just focus on Yanjing and uh, end his life. And the TV dude will actually give us some energy back, so it's not. Let's have you go into your what you call it state as quickly as possible. Wait for the dice. Really? Wow. Okay, we got real unlucky. But two hits bring that guy down real low. You only get sixty-six percent. Then we can break him immediately. Actually, and you won't even get that turn. You took the he almost goes down immediately. Fortunately, Sparkle got crowd control this time, so that's unfortunate. And I have nothing to spend here. That is so unfortunate. All right, cool. Ultimate from Sparkle. All the extra skill points. Boost for QQ. Another one of these. There. One of these. Yeah, yeah, you get weird cards, but yeah, I get it. You're gonna die, so it's fine. This combat needs optimized. This is break her. When they keep quiet. All right, we got the double. I'm gonna hold on. To it. I was gonna use her ultimate. Let's just like, like hold on to it for the next round, yeah. So I can use it. Yeah, that was my favorite. Uh, they come out. Luck of the draw. Here. Yeah, she just. Oh yeah, that was. Yeah, I don't have to worry about the swords. They're really fucking weak. Really weak, actually. I do want quantum weakness on him, so go my way. As long as nobody gets frozen, we should be okay. Didn't you get her? Yeah. Ultimate from um, her. Let's go ahead and use her. Even though she already has two max charges. Oh, 
Maybe should have waited because then, again, misplay. Should have waited because then I would have got more a weakness break on him. Weakness break is so important. Now that you'll probably get it on him because he constantly is regenerating those damn swords, but it's possible. If you catch him on the right turn, it's definitely possible. It looks like we may have caught him on that turn. Oh, we did. He did not spawn those. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just wrong. I'm just wrong about how this fight works in MOC. Then. Lucky. Like I said, as long as we get it in like five turns, it gives the other side five turns. Right? We can get it in less, that'd be great. Like getting the quantum team to the point where it goes in it goes really fast would be nice, obviously. Um but yeah, three turns. We have seven turns to do this on the quantum team. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. On the imaginary side. Let's see what we can do. We get luckier. And we only have to do one more little trick. Luckier? Nope. Gamba. Gamba before the fight. High stakes, high rewards. Um. I'm trying to figure out who's the bigger problem here. I feel like you're the bigger problem, even though you're, all your stuff's gonna bounce right back at you. But yeah, you summon shit. Do I want to use your skill here? Because it's only yeah, we're your skill. And then I'm gonna use this skill just to get the full proc. Slows around. No dirty tricks. Watch your head. Nice. All right. Um. We'll use her skill again. The dice have been oh, I should have broke him before. God damn, I'm Bust. dumb. I'm dumb. That was dumb. I just didn't, I didn't think I was going to do that. Let's do this Bust. because it'll last for both of their Bust. turns at this point, which is good. He can just do a basic there. And then he can do the gold. Shields are kind of low. But, ball the back stack. Watch your head. took a lot of damage. Zero points. You know nothing. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. There we go. As easy as that. Kill. Well, you see, you see. Your answers? I hit the wrong target? No, I hit the right target. Answer me. I'm not getting my good Get up. Head your bets. Of course he wouldn't smack you, Kong. Like, why Why would he go and hit anybody else but you, Kong? Of course. Let's begin. Right I'm asking questions. Test. Zero points. Okay. The gorilla. I'm not gonna be very careful because you hunt sure, a lot of damage. I misplayed that pretty pretty badly. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. Ultimate. I'm already feeling a bit better than he was doing because I actually have to get this more on. 
I'm saying... Speaking this for like slow purposes. Pretty thick shield on her right now. Um, we're low on skill points. Leave it to me. Stand down. You're on search for nothing. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. We end up using the energy recharge robot. Well, I'm still building the imaginary team. Right? I'm still figuring out like the best way for them to actually like work. Zero points. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth. Oh, shit. that was my B for like yeah research challenge. All right, we'll retry. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to go about this. I think even wealth would probably benefit from an energy recharge rope as well, just to keep him going up, up longer. Because like that's kind of the key, keeping things crowd controlled so we can do shit. Feeling lucky. We got we got we got a good roll there. Um, um, oh, ratios thing goes away. For the theater, yeah. roll. Yes, we got the best roll. Not cool. All right. High stakes Here we go. Rewards. Um, we're gonna hard focus the the monkey this time. Uh, see if we can just get him down. Cause he's gonna need defense reduction on himself anyway, so course. that would make a lot of sense. Skill. Let's begin. Well, skill. target. Ability, fault You do know nothing. Survive or be destroyed. To ultimate, there is no other choice. I hit the mark. It's on me. Shield. Spirit never dies. Basic with increasing physical break. Leave it to me. Basic. Your answers. The wind is full. From the boat. Damn, he is big. well, he is like hard working well. The dice have been cast. He is ultimate of a lot of take it off. Everybody, this is back. Steam back. Watch your head. 
Stop this toughness reduction. We're now kind of in a weird cycle of skill and stuff along those lines. I think I'm thinking to use her skill. Yeah. Let's begin. Use his basic. Oh, it wasn't enough. Damn. The wind is rough. This. From the boat. Test. Zero points. Head your bets. He did not. Uh -huh. die. Damn. Good. Good. Um, I'm actually going... She has her base of sufficiency, so I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to do a skill from well to break. Yep. And then skill from well. Basic. We're basically getting, we're just going to build up some, some, some points right here. Leave it to me. Stand down. Get back into the rotation. Immediately hit this before she summons anything else. Survive or be destroyed. We'll delay her again. Choice. Five and folly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This worked out real good. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. I wasn't even paying attention to the turns, but we're gonna get this. It took seven turns, but we're gonna get this. Nice. Thank you for your service. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty-one. So eight cycles. It took five on this side, three on the other. Yeah. That's not bad. That's exactly like the way I would want it to go, right? And that was stage eleven. And like you just you saw me, I don't know if I kept the kept it in the video, but you saw me change out some gear on uh Yukong just so she could have more energy recharge, and that actually helped out a lot. So changing that up was a great idea. It ended up being perfect, actually. Absolutely perfect. So now, let's see. This is the all quantum side. I don't actually need silver wolf here, right? It's all quantum. This side does not have imaginary. So what I need to do is uh, actually change out silver wolf and welt, and then put uh, uh, put put welt over here, uh, where he'll actually be able to spam his skill, and then put silver wolf over here. And that's kind of the way I change things up. There's also like I could also do a duo DPS over here and do Zhu Yi instead if I wanted to, right? I could do Zhu Yi over here. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. That's more break efficiency. I think I might do that. She is a little bit more built than Welt. Um, and then moving Silver Wolf down here, I think, would actually be a good idea. To be able to add Imaginary to these enemies. Add Imaginary or Quantum. Either way, it'll work out in our favor uh, with by giving us an actual break. The biggest problem this team's probably going to run into is the, against the, the Venturine boss. Spoilers. <laughs> is uh, none of them have AoE, right? So for getting like good dice rolls, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit difficult for them actually. Um, this is why uh, there are two characters in the future. Uh, there's two edition characters with the respective energies. I'm not gonna say which ones because uh, I don't know. They're in dreams. Um, I need them. So um, eventually it'll be fine because his follow-up attack will a hopefully AOE it at some point during that time period. If not, he'll defend them from it, and then. The Kakolia fight, um, I honestly feel like the slow from from Welt will be more useful than the extra damage we get from uh, from Z. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try with Welt. We'll try with Welt first. See if we can even do this. So far, we've gotten you know three stars each time with these two teams. So it's very possible. Very possible. All right, and then now we can use welts. And then we'll start the fight with Welt, because, you know, he's Welt. He doesn't start the fights, he usually ends them. But, you know. So the one I want to hit first is actually this dude, because he can, he can become a problem. Obviously, they can all become problems. Oh, that's slow, is unfortunate. Uh, so, weirdly enough, I 
do want to boost her up, but I kind of want to boost um, Welds up, actually, because of his ultimate, getting an ultimate turn. So actually, I think I'm going to actually do that. Because I want him to use his skill so that he gets an ultimate so that he can slow down everybody in the game. Yeah. Yeah, and we're do that. Choose me strike. All things choose ultimate. Creations. Gotcha. Hers told fully procs. And we use her answer. ultimate for the first time to get five skill points instead of four, right? Yep. And then We don't want him absorbing anything, but Sparkle's gonna come again anyway. Let's do this. We're gonna do a shit ton of damage to him and get that double hit. Oh, it didn't crit. Oh, you've got to be shitting me right now. I could have just. You know what I should have done on the big dude? I should have done on the big dude because what would have happened is uh, it would have killed the small one anyways, like it just did, and then he would have moved in and I would have had more damage that way. So, it was all good. Time for some hardship. Keep them yeah, this team's also kind of nuts when when Soldier set up to do it. She's gonna get a double hit. We'll do it. Crit. There you go. She actually has a kind of a low crit rate. Uh, I need to I need to work on her her crit rate. Wow, we were completely didn't die. Damn, that's un unfortunate. That's another turn we lost. Build the skill point. Let's play for a while. Don't move. Let's play. Find the answer. Second pass in the line. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Should have waited, possibly. Probably should have waited. Actually, yeah, she's about to get her turn. So yeah, I should have waited. Should have waited on that. Oh, no. It's okay. All things. Should have waited so that she got delayed in between her actions. I think we'll be okay. Though. Mistakes, mistakes notwithstanding, right? Nobody can run a team absolutely perfectly. So, I feel it's a, probably a better showcase there if I just leave in some, some mistakes. As long as those mistakes don't result in a, a death and something along those lines, then we're probably good. She's not going to summon the bro. You know nothing of the way survive or be destroyed. Now we delay her. There's no way choice. Yep, stops her turn. Perfect. Give me your second action. Absolutely. Perfect. We'll get five skill points this time, for sure. Yep. Oh, we got the extra attack. Extra attack, so let's do this. Do the big damage. Well, let's hope we crit. Float again. Perfect. Oh, this is not going very well, but it's okay. The other side definitely does not have enough damage to like totally finish this off. Then not crit. That attack did. Ah oh, shit! I didn't. Oh, this was played so bad. This was so bad. This was played so bad. Don't uh, don't be like me. Don't play. Don't play as bad as me. You're bad at the game, my god. Leave it to me. Don't be. Stand down. Yeah, we lost so many turns because of the way I played that. That was terrible. Let's see if we can even clear. Like, at this point, I'm going to keep going, though. Just to make sure we can actually clear. Because if we can clear, then we can refine, right? Pretty sure she's dead. Just to make sure we get everything cast. Yeah. 
no crit again. Damn. Wow, two back-to-back -back non crits. Oh, they hate to see it. So many non crits. So many whiffed crits. What is our crit right now? I have to look at that. I don't remember it being that low that she wasn't critting that much. It's crazy. Maybe I need a Bukong over there instead to give a crit rate buff. Keep Welt on this side. He just says AoE. Actually, that might not have been a bad idea. That was more of a boss rush. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe when we're refining. There you go. Feeling lucky. Really? Alright, this one's gonna be a little different. We're gonna do Feeling lucky. a couple of these. And then one more. Lucky. No? Okay. For the this. Then we're gonna open up with Silver Wolf. All the Eagles. Trickier to crack. Time for a bow. Lots of cool. Uh -huh. Spirit never dies. Here. And then my silver wolf is super fast on the first turn. She has the she has the relic set that advances your action on your first turn, just so she can get an immediate like elemental drop on the enemy. Uh, we can switch. Let's go with that. Frankly, you're kind of the bigger problem. Test. Zero points. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. <laughs> More enemies. Had your best. This combat meet. <laughs> this is double speed. Oh, I'm sort of worried to start taking her down. Huh? As easy as that. For the pot. Still now. The wind is rising. Ultimate. From the bow. Everybody should be benefiting from Yu Kong at the moment, right? That's the nice thing is right now everybody, everybody is benefiting from Yu Kong. All these follow-up attacks are still benefiting from Yu Kong as well. It's actually why it's super good, right? Every follow-up attack that came out during that was benefiting from the crit buff, the damage, crit damage buff, and the attack buff. So, super good. Sure, this I'll play long. This is double speed. It's on me. Let's refresh that shield. There we go. Gale Force. All still benefiting from the attack buff. Now, Vendrine doesn't necessarily benefit from the attack buff, but he does benefit from the crit rate, crit damage buff when, when her ult line is over cast her ult. And she added imaginary this time, so I will actually have. Yeah, I'll have you call it over here. Got the defense. That worked out. Which, a measure of truth and falsehood. We need two different skill points. Zero points. Spirit never dies. You are instant. Test. Zero points. Perfect. All right, here we go. Watch your head. Sure, I'll play long. It's on me. Yeah, Yukon is kind of a just a skill point generator at this exact moment. I'm asking questions. This combat me. This is double speed. We're already down to twenty. Oh, it's just her? 
Huh, so she kind of has to attack. I have to attack. She's not gonna get the higher roll. That's unfortunate. That's like, yeah, that was not that was not good at all. That was unfortunate. This is a unfortunate team against this at the moment. We're very single target, and we need we need AOE. Who would have thought that having AOE in the game would actually one day become like the needed thing? I need practice piloting my my imaginary team for sure. That's for damn sure. And frankly, I need uh, I need a match. Here. I'm so It's like get pieces of gone. I almost wanted it to change to imaginary. This combat. Oh, nice. This is double speed. Watch your head. Sure, I'll play along. Nice. Um, these are oh, yeah. Your answer the wind is full. From the back. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. Zero points. Unfortunately, we're not rolling magnet right now. We keep rolling quantum, which is actually not the <laughs> Yukong is just barely making it through right now. It's so funny. Just barely. I'm asking question. Answer me. Time for a fun. Hedge your bets. Spend freely. Why you can't Okay, well, she won. Nice. She did win. <laughs> Honestly, I think Zuyi might actually be better on this side. Because she'll have another follow-up attack to continuously bring up that. And if I get Quantum again, then she can help. She can also do more break. And her tech is AoE. I think Z I think actually having the double DPS over here will actually make it better. Now that I'm thinking about it. Opportunity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the AoE, so. Uh... Oh, you can get more points, though. Oh, you can add more points if you do, like, a double attack. That's actually good to know. Um, huh. I don't think a base effect really matters. S.A.S. Pekibi. No, I'm sure you're not. 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 Okay. That's a crown now, I guess. I don't know what that means. This combat needs optimizing. Will she get more this points if Ratio speed. gets more points? I don't know, I don't think so. She got one additional point. Ratio just got an additional well oh, yeah, he's even more over the points. Okay. Um I'm just gonna put a shield up. I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna have to have him the not uh cast. Not die. Or maybe I'll take it off. Get more points. Yeah, it's level two points, yeah. Yeah, this was, that was a bad. She can get more points. She can get more points and possibly not die. Just like he'll get more points and possibly not die. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, so single target can do it. We just have to have multiple attacks that come out. Oh, come on. 
We're gonna win. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to restart. Not only we're gonna have to restart, we're gonna have to return. We're gonna have to return. We're gonna have to return. So okay. So this is round two for this, and we're going to change out Yukon for possibly even Loja. More healing, perhaps? And I can use which generates more basic attacks for us, which means I can use more often because this side's speed is the problem as well so i'm thinking i think we do this instead actually she's the tanker i don't want her to take those down so that's why. um i think we might do this instead But what was fine over there? I think I just misplayed it. And if I put Z on this side, I get more follow-up attacks for him, essentially. To trigger his passive more often to get more AoE to get all that stuff. So I think that might be the better option. Like, Yukon might be the better option on this side, like I was saying originally. Double harmony. Yeah. She just needs to be make sure she's tanky enough to survive. I don't have a better light cone for her. I mean, I have the break effect one. I have dance, 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 dance. One would be a bad idea. It's a little low right now. I haven't leveled it up though. So no, we're, we're just going to change her over here. And we're going to see how that works. We're going to try that. Let's give that a shot. This does also give us an offensive. The game is on. You spit me? Wait for the tides. And they were gonna passively go over here so that most of our damage actually lands instead of trying to break that down. We'll just break it down passively if that makes sense. Yeah. Unfortunately, Yukon the way Yukong is positioned, she her buff is gonna hit her and then her instead of hitting. Oh, so we're gonna do our basic attack right here. Let's kind of let the dinosaur do its thing for a moment. Until we break it. Did actually absorb Spirit something. Never yeah. dies. That's annoying. Yeah, unfortunately, the way that positioning, she actually is kind of useless in this comp. Never mind. Because just because of the way the speed works out, she's actually just kind of incredibly useless outside of her breaking. Wealth would actually be better because of the speed. Yeah, I'm, 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 um, yeah, we're gonna back out. We're gonna back out. We're gonna bring wealth. That was not a good idea. Zui is fine on the other side. Probably, be, we'll probably be fine on the other side, but Yukong is just not, not, not speed tuned for that team. So, we shall bring wealth. And go with that. Okay, now we're trying. Now we're really trying. The game is on. Don't move. Wait for the tides. They come out. I see through you. Yeah, I don't know what I did with this trip so well. Do you know 
something up survive too early destroy there is no other choice gotta hold it till that's in the middle of their actions all things human creations and yang let's play for a while Find the answer. Get our first skill points back. Alright, I'm just gonna it. Yep, and we're going to devour. Perfect. It came together. I actually messed up there as well. Again. This is the victory! Please crit. Leave it to me. Those non-crits. They hurt so much. She has like 60% crit rate too. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's not 100 percent you know, it's 50%, right? <laughs> Then there's the crit. Like when she crits, she trucks. Like that thing should realistically already be dead, right? Or be destroyed. But there is no other choice. A quick divination converge and awaken. Let's begin. Stand down. I we lost so many turns just because of non-crits. We were relying on RNG, all the RNG too much, basically. And he's just gonna get a double attack here when it's really kind of unnecessary. A quick divination. Time for some hardship. Yeah, it's complete waste. You know nothing of the survivor or be destroyed. There is no other choice. The most way out of it. Wait, she's oh, she resisted that. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this run here. I'm gonna call this run here. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's late. I'm tired. I'm not playing correctly. I can already feel it. We got 33 out of 36 with our imaginary and quantum teams. Hopefully, uh, there will be more to this video, and I will have, I will put more.